Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It's two weeks to Christmas. That means the lads are probably about to start shopping. So I'm going to give you my best 11 ideas to put under the tree for the lady in your life, or your mum, or your sister this Christmas. Or you could just get in the cat. That works. So first of all, welcome to Linkmas day number 11. Welcome to my little grotto. Um, today I'm gonna to be giving you my best gift ideas for the ladies, whether it's your mum, your sister, your girlfriend, your wife, your daughter, the best ideas that I have for you to buy them. Now one thing I wanna say at the start of this list is, is there is a gift, gift list for men as well, and some of these ideas are good for men and women, so you can mix and match. So watch the other video as well afterwards so you know all of my knowledge. Number 10 is a spa day. Now, I put spa day slash experience day. Now this is because what I feel, and again this, a lot of this is my opinion guys, so if any of this is wrong, sorry, you know, if you if you upset your wife on Christmas day, I'll, I'm not taking the blame, alright? Um, the reason I'm suggesting a spa day or an experience day is because I think people, and it's not just women, it's men as well, really appreciate it when we spend time together and make memories. And I think things like spa days, experience days, it's a great way for you and your partner to spend some time together, do something maybe you haven't done before, because I think that is the thing that a lot of people want, they don't want, is get, is time together. So that's number 10. Nine is a cliche but it is perfume now i know it's obvious buy perfume buy her favorite brand of perfume whether it's christian dior poison fucking about a million versace ralph lauren whatever it is you can do that that's an easy choice and you know they're going to be happy especially if you know there's one they like especially with perfume you know you can just walk under their dressing table and you can Pick it up and you go, oh yeah, that's, that's nearly empty. I'll get her a new one of them. Or, or oh yeah, she hasn't got that on there anymore. I'll get her that because she's ran out. Um, we'll just suggest as well, if you want a small, cheap stocking filler, we'll have to take this beard off. It's too hot. If you want a small, cheap stocking filler, uh, I will suggest Versace red jeans. Now, obviously in my last video, I suggested Versace blue jeans for the lads. Versace red jeans is a female alternative basically um, it's cheap it's like 10 to 15 quid but it's Versace it's good quality and it smells for ages and it's a nice size bottle for 10 to 15 quid so that's where I would go with that eight is a handbag now I know it's a risky I always say you know be careful when buying sort of clothes that sort of thing with a handbag I think it's a lot easier to get right um, Depends what sort of bag you buy. You could buy a bag which is to be like a daily one, or you could buy one which is for like going out clubbing. A clutch bag, I think they're called. I'm not the expert on this stuff at all. Um, but yeah, a handbag, I think, is quite a good place because you, if you know someone likes a particular brand again, you know that if you buy something from that brand, they're most likely to be happy with it. So yeah, handbag, I don't think you can go very wrong. But you can, all right? You definitely can go wrong, so be careful. Seven is buy her her favourite alcohol or a gift set based around her favourite alcohol. So if she likes gin, you can get make your own gin sets. Or get her a bottle of Gordon's Pink Gin or Tanqueray if that's what she likes. Um, whatever she likes. She might even like Jack Daniels, you know? That would be my choice. Get her a bottle of Jack Daniels. If that is what she likes, if you buy someone their favourite, favourite alcohol, you can't go wrong. And it's another thing where you don't have to worry about have other people bought them that. Because if you get two bottles of Jack Daniels, it is twice as good as one bottle of Jack Daniels. Which isn't always the case with certain gifts. Like if you get two things exactly the same, it's not always good. But if you get two bottles of Jack Daniels, it definitely is twice as good as one. Six. Now this one's not very speculative or inventive, people. It's a mug. I, I know, whoa, just get a mug, is that all? Um, I think a mug is a great sort of stop and fill a smaller present. 
especially if you can theme it around something they like. So if they like Disney, especially Disney guys, Disney Store makes the best mugs of any company in the world. So if you have a Disney store near you and you're buying something like Disney, go get a mug from the Disney store with a favourite character, you cannot go wrong. Um, or if you go on to like Moonpig, funkypigeon.com, I think that's the advert. Um, they do personalised ones, so you can get a picture of maybe you got us together, something like that. Maybe a picture of their pet, maybe a picture of just them on a special day, like a wedding day or something. Also, that's a good present for guys as well. It wasn't in the guys list, but it's still a good present for guys, so I suggest mugs. Five is a candle. Um, I think a candle is quite an affectionate present it can be because, you know, it's, it's, I'm not just saying, oh, just buy any candle. Like, if you know someone really likes lavender, go put the thought in the buy them a nice lavender cal candle. Calendar? Candle. If you know someone really likes, for example, a certain colour in their living room, if someone's living room is gold themed, get them a gold candle to go with the living room theme. Um, with a candle, you can actually put quite a lot of thought into quite a simple present. So if you don't want to spend a load of money, or if you can't afford to spend a load of money, you can buy a candle cleverly so it's quite thoughtful and then obviously mean them because it's the thought that counts guys. It is the thought that counts. Four is a bit different. I've put hair care, straighteners, hair dryers, curling tongs and wands and all that sort of stuff. Um, basically guys, the reason I've put that in there is because I know some of these hair machines, do you call them hair machines, styling tools, that's probably the term. Hair styling tools um, are expensive, okay? Now, a decent hair dryer can be expensive, apparently. Um, like Dyson do an air blade one where it's got like no spinny bit. It's just like, a bit like the Dyson fan, it's just like, Phew. anyway. Yeah, so I know they can be expensive. So while I was editing, I got curious as to how much them Dyson hair dryers are. They're 299 pounds. But they are cool, so if you got money to throw around, do it seen them appearing in a lot of different gift guides. Um, like anyone that watches the channel regular knows that I like to look at other people's ideas before I make a video in case I miss something obvious or in case I know there's something to look out for. Like especially when I do reviews and stuff, if I'm reviewing something and there's a common fault or problem with a product, I like to know about it so when I review it I can say, okay, mine's fine. But yeah, um, they can be really expensive, these hair sort of wands and tongs and dryers and straighteners so I think that's a really good present because you can buy something that someone really really wants but with that just be careful to make sure you get something someone does actually want so maybe like use their best friend or their sister or something be like do they like GHD? Did GHD make straighteners? Have I seen that somewhere? I believe GHD makes straighteners. I know Dyson make a nice hair dryer. I know that. I've seen that going with no blades, which I love. Anyway, hair care. Three is the magic number, so it needs to be a magical gift. Three is jewelry. I know it's cliche. I know it's obvious. But I'm um, just gonna drop a few tips for buying jewelry this Christmas, guys. Try and buy something which is thoughtful. Don't just think, right, I'm gonna buy the most expensive thing I can find or the most expensive thing I can afford, because that isn't always what people want. Sometimes people want something which is a bit thoughtful, like maybe a little Harry Potter necklace if they like Harry Potter. Maybe a Pandora charm for their Pandora bracelet that they've already got with Winnie the Pooh, if they like Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if that's a thing, and if Pandora make Winnie the Pooh charms. But yeah, just try and be thoughtful if you buy jewellery, rather than just being like, right, I'm going to buy this big old slab of gold. And obviously I'm not saying if you can afford to spend thousands of pounds or hundreds of pounds, don't. But if you do spend a lot of money, Try and be thoughtful still, rather than just be like, right, I'm going to buy the most expensive thing I'll find, and she's going to like it, and that's grand. Um, yeah, so just be thoughtful if you do buy jewellery, guys. Um, check people's preferences as well. Do they like white gold? Do they like gold? Do they like silver? Do they like platinum? Try and buy people what they actually like, because there's nothing worse than buying someone expensive jewellery and ends up in a drawer. You've spent hundreds of pounds on a necklace. They don't like it. They never wear it. Waste of your time and your money. Number two, now this one is not to be given on Christmas Day. Well, you can if you want. I'm not here to judge, all right? You can do anything how you want. Um, I would say it's more of like a Christmas Eve, 
present, maybe the day before Christmas, and it is timeless classic, bunch of flowers. Now, from an evolutionary standpoint, because some of you watching this will know, I'm doing a psychology degree, right? We had a very interesting lecture from one of my lecturers where she was talking about flowers as a gift from an evolutionary standpoint. And what she said was, basically, the reason flowers are a very good present to give is because it shows you have got, like, basically spare wealth and resources to spend on something that serves no purpose that is going to die. So it's a bit of a flex, basically, when you buy flowers. You're just like, yeah, I spent 20 quid on a bunch of flowers and have died in a week. I don't care, because like, that doesn't hurt me. You know what I mean? That's the idea of buying flowers in a way from a deep evolutionary level. But yeah, um, people love flowers, and I think they're a very good gift to give people, and I think people will enjoy it if you get them flowers. And I also think it's nice sometimes to give someone a little something before Christmas, rather than just being like, okay, it's Christmas Day, I've got to give you something. Um, it's like with flowers as well, guys, right? Don't do it every day, but just when you see a nice bunch of flowers and you can afford it, buy them for someone. So buy them for your mum or your sister or your girlfriend or your wife. Don't just buy flowers on special occasions. Buy flowers when it's not a special occasion. Just be like, it's got your knees. Why did you get them for you? Because I love you. That's why. Do that, guys. Do that. Number one. Is are you surprised? I'm not. It's a Funko Pop again. Right now, this was number one on my men's list. This is number one on my woman's list. Stitch wasn't number one on my men's list, but he's number one on my woman's list, right? Now, with Funko Pops, you can buy someone something they absolutely love. You can buy something from their favourite franchise. I did a big, like, three five minute section about these in my mail gift giving guide, so go watch that after this. But yeah, if you get a Funko Pop for 10 quid, maybe five quid, they do go up to 100, but if you buy basic ones, you're starting at like five quid to 10 quid, you can get someone something they really love that they do not have, and it shows thought and care, and yeah, go watch the other video to find out about that. Thank you all for watching. Day 11, two weeks to Christmas to get your presents in, boys and girls. If you need any advice, if you got ideas, you're not sure, and you wanna run by someone, Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you want. Um, Discord is probably a good place. If you've got ideas and you want to ask opinions, I'm about. But yeah, thank you for watching this, guys. I just appreciate how many people are watching these Vlogmas videos. Literally every day, people are watching them. People are waiting for 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, which is when they drop. Normally closer to 6. But yeah, people are literally sat there waiting, excited to watch some videos. It means a lot to me that you people are doing that. Um, shout out to everyone who's been watching for that. And yeah, just subscribe, basically. If you're not, go down there, do it now. You won't miss the next two weeks. You will not miss. What is timing up? Real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.